With the mask partway done, I can begin to see uh, how I might want to align these. And it's becoming obvious to me when I start coming over here to my uh, opacity and stuff. You can see the eye. Or, that's not an eye. Duh, that's an eye. The nose is not exactly lined up uh, with the dog's nose. That's obvious because uh, the anatomy of a dog and of a little boy are actually quite different. And this just proves that that is the case. So what we're going to do, take the opacity back up. And notice, by the way, I can continue working on my mask if I want by clicking on the icon over here for the mask. If I want to if I want to play with the um, uh, pixels of the layer, what I need to do is just click on the icon for the layer itself, not the mask. I'm just going to go up here and I'm just going to use the lasso tool and I'm going to make a quick and dirty selection of the nose area and it's not a beautiful selection but it does not need to be because I'm going to mask it out as well. To copy that onto its own layer I'm going to do Control J, Command J for those Mac people and you can see that my mask did not go with that layer but that's quite alright. That is not a problem whatsoever. Um, I can go ahead just to save a little time and go back down to the original little boy layer and I can do the same thing with the mouth and notice how I'm moving that selection around a little bit because I want to give myself plenty of room around the mouth and control J once more and now I'm going to label these layers so I know what they are okay and I'm going to go ahead and add masks and start painting on those masks painting out the parts. I'm going to pop that back up to 100%. Painting out the parts that I don't want to keep. Okay, that's good enough for right now. Come down to the mouth one, do the same thing. And then start painting. And now, just to keep any confusion from going on, I'm going to come down to the mask for the kid layer for his entire face and make my brush just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to brush out everything on that layer only that is not his eyes. Because I'm just going to have that be the eye layer. Okay. Now, let's go back up to the nose because obviously the nose, and I'm going to click on the pixels not the mask. The nose is what's off most. So now I'm just going to move that nose into place and you can see I need to do control T to transform it and rotate it around just a little bit because it's not quite matching up the way I want. And I can turn off all both of those other layers. Whoops, that would be the mouth, wouldn't it? There we go. There's the nose. And I can see I need to make that mask around it just a little bit bigger. So let me go ahead and do that. And I could spend the rest of my life actually tweaking this. So this is where you have to decide what do you want and at what point is um, are you reaching the point of no return? Are you not getting any bang for your buck anymore? Um, so that's the nose. Mouth, same deal. Come over here. And it's easy to paint out too much. And if you accidentally go whoop like that, which actually is kind of funny, uh, but if you don't like that, you can just paint in white to bring it right back. Okay? And Control T transform that around a little bit and move it to where you want it. Hit enter when you're done. And now I have a fair approximation. Um, so that's some of the basics of 
manipulating various and sundry uh, parts of the image. Now in this final tutorial that's coming up next, I'm going to actually put some of the finesse into it and try to make it look as realistic as possible.